This week, Tesla unveiled plans to build a personal assistant humanoid robot called what else? The Tesla bot. Elon Musk says the robot is designed to do boring, repetitive, even dangerous work. He joked that Tesla bots will also be able to be slow enough that they can be outrun. <laughs> the company's aiming to have a prototype ready, <laughs> right? I mean, if it oh wants to gosh, come after Terminator. you. Terminator. Well, Some people away. might be yeah. afraid, you know. Uh, yeah. This development comes as questions are being raised about the safety of the autopilot feature in Tesla vehicles. The nation's top auto safety regulator is investigating nearly a dozen accidents where a Tesla slammed into a parked emergency vehicle. Two senators are calling on the Federal Trade Commission to launch a separate investigation. Congressional correspondent Chris Van Cleve has more. This Tesla slammed into a California Highway Patrol SUV, stopped on a closed freeway as officers investigated a fatal crash last month. The driver allegedly told police she'd engaged autopilot and wasn't paying attention. If there was officers inside that vehicle, it could have been a lot worse. If somebody's outside next to the car, they, they can easily kill an officer. It's at least the 11th time since 2018 where a Tesla using advanced driver assistance technology hit a stopped emergency vehicle. Federal regulators are now investigating those crashes that resulted in reports of 17 injuries and one death. Among them, this 2018 collision where a Tesla slammed into the back of a fire truck. The National Transportation Safety Board blamed driver error and autopilot's design. Well, I do believe there's a problem there. CBS News transportation safety analyst Rob Sumwalt was the NTSB chairman during that investigation. What's the concern with calling something autopilot? The concern with calling it an autopilot is that people get overconfident. This is not an autopilot at all. It needs to be constantly monitored, just like an autopilot on an airplane. Now, Senators Ed Markey and Richard Blumenthal are demanding the Federal Trade Commission launch its own investigation into potentially deceptive and unfair practices in Tesla's advertising and marketing. Tesla has been overstating, vastly and falsely overstating the capabilities of its autopilot system. The consequences can be deadly. Autopilot can maintain the car's speed and lane position, but Tesla says the driver must stay in control and pay proper attention. The company did not respond to our request for comment, but has stood by its technology, arguing it reduces accidents. While the automaker continues to update the system, it is not foolproof. During this 2018 drive in a Tesla Model 3, Autopilot nearly steered me into another vehicle Whoa. as two lanes merged together. It's uh nearly drove us into the super there. <laughs> not quite a perfect system. So at that point, the car was not aware that there was another car that was about to steer into us. The probe could affect an estimated 765,000 Teslas currently on the road. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Chris Van Cleve, Washington. The prospect of being able to chill or nap or eat some right. food and not having to drive yourself is obviously intriguing, but a lot still needs to get worked yeah, out, well, right? As someone who's been in an accident because I fell asleep behind you know, had dozed off. It is crucial that you have a backup. But I think for, you know, the, the kinks need to be worked out. Yeah. A, a lot of folks might think autopilot means you can do that and just yeah, you can, not yeah. sit there and be alert, but that's clearly not the case. Yeah. And I'm alive in here to tell the story. Well, there We're is happy for it. Me too. <laughs> oh, thank you.